After cleaning prawns, we are usually left with a lot of prawns head and shells. However, throwing them away as is, create a very fishy smell in the trash. Here is how to use prawns head and shells to enrich your food while reducing fishy smell. We will be making prawn broth. I recommend making and using this broth within the same day. It is very simple. We will need 200 grams of prawns head and shells or any amount that you have and about 500 ml of water. We are going to start with washing the prawns head and shells in a clean bowl of water. Pour in the prawns head and shells. Use a spoon to stir it gently. Try not to use your hands as prawn heads still have sharp horns. Once it is washed, Use the strainer to drain out all the water. Transfer the strainer to rest on another bowl to allow most of the water to drift off. The prawns head is where most of flavor will come from as it's full of prawns organs. I also have the shell and legs. Next, we are going to extract the juice of the prawns with a mortar and pestle. Place the prawns head into a mortar. We are leaving the shell and legs out. Using the pestle, lightly pound or smash them like this. This will help to extract more of the prawns essence while cooking. Be careful when doing this as some juice of prawns head can splatter out of the mortar. Alright, this is enough. Now we are going to move on to the next step, cooking. In a small pot, add in all the smashed prawn head. To get a maximum prawns flavor, use some water to wash down the prawns juice and some shells stuck in the mortar. Add in the prawn shells from the strainer as well. Add in the rest of the water. It looks like there is not enough water, so I'm adding in about 150 ml of water. This will depend on your pot, but I will add the total in the description box. Give it a stir to even out the prawns, as we will bring the water to boil. We want the prawns to be floating in the water, with some extra water to account for evaporation. Now we are going to cook it. Put the pot onto the stove on a medium-high heat. Cover the lid and bring it to boil. This will take around 2 to 3 minutes. After 3 minutes, oops, the broth is going to overflow. Open the lid to allow the bubble and the steam to come out from the pot. Please be careful as this tends to happen. Give it a stir. Rest the pot cover slightly out of the alignment so that the steam can flow out and the broth will not overflow again. This will help to allow the air in the pot to escape as the water evaporates into the air. It seems like my pot cannot rest out of alignment enough for the air to escape so I am using a cooking chopstick to rest the lid on. This will give more space for the air to escape. If you don't have a cooking chopstick, you can use a heatproof leather handle to rest across the pot. Wooden spatula handles are really good for this. Just don't use metal ones. They get hot really fast. And don't use plastic ones. They will melt from the hot steam. Continue to boil the broth for 8 minutes. Checking the broth occasionally. If there is too much scum, you can use the strainer to scoop it off. Give it a stir. After 8 minutes, the rich umami filled prawns broth is ready. Turn off the heat. See, the prawns head and shells have changed color completely. The broth also has nice orange hue. Now we are going to strain it. Put the strainer over another pot and pour in all the prawns broth. Drip off the broth from the strainer by shaking it. Now remove the strainer. And there you have it. A lovely sweet prawn broth for your dishes. I recommend using this prawn broth within a day as seafood go bad very quickly. For the strained prawns head and shells, you can bury them into the soil as fertilizer. Or throw them out. 
they won't smell like rotting raw fish anymore. Thank you for watching. If you have enjoyed this video, please share it and subscribe for more home cooked tips like this. Stay tuned for my one pot seafood soup with this prawn broth coming soon. This is home cooking with Somjit. Thank you and bye bye.